New at 10, West Loop residents still frightened by the attempted kidnappings of two women in their neighborhood. A suspect has been arrested, but residents say police shouldn't stop there. Our Jermont Terry is live in the West Loop with the very latest tonight. Jermont. Erica, you might expect people walking late at night to look over their shoulder more than once, but some West Loop residents are telling me that that same uneasiness remains even in daylight, and they're hoping something changes soon. You can find people walking dogs, hanging with their children in the park, and plenty of bikers here in the West Loop. But there's one thing those living here tell me is lacking. Police are, could be out a little bit more. I haven't seen an increased police presence in the neighborhood after that incident occurred. The incident Stephanie Turner is talking about is the attempted kidnapping near her home off Sangamon. This week, Chicago police arrested the man they say is connected to three incidents involving attacking or trying to force women into vehicles in a matter of days. Yet despite Quaybon Ewing getting charged. I just don't think getting one person is going to solve the problem. After 22 years of living in the West Loop, Turner admits she now feels unsafe. She recalls a scare just this week walking. Three guys sitting in a car with the windows down with a half ski mask on in the back seat, and that I thought, okay, well, is it related to the incident that happened? And now that I know that it's not, it makes me think there would be copycats. Those living here in the West Loop believe the crime is centering around them, which is why a big turnout is expected Saturday morning here at Bartomay Park to address safety issues with police and the aldermen. We live in a big city. Reggie Pope still feels safe when he's out, but admits to seeing questionable guys following women. I see people walking in the neighborhood. I don't know if they actually belong in the neighborhood. One lady's walking well ahead of and then there's a guy walking maybe a block away. Looked like it may have been a setup getting ready to happen, but again, it's all about common sense. Now that community safety meeting starts tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock and neighbors and residents are telling me that they're hoping for some concrete solutions from Chicago police. Reporting live in the West Loop tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Erica? All right, Jermont, thank you.